Hey guys, welcome to On Fire Roblox Scripting, and today's video is brought to you by a YouTube comment. So this one's brought to you by at spin go 2150 and he asks if I can make a tutorial for if you hold E on a part, it will kick you. Sure, let's do it. So the first thing you want to do is go under the view tab and open up the explorer and properties. After that, we need an actual part that we can kick you with. So to insert a part, just go under the model tab and then in the center top of the screen, just click on part and that will insert a part into the workspace. Um, so it could be any part, doesn't really matter because we're going to be inserting a proximity prompt. But once you have your part, just click on it and find it under the explore. And then on your part, click the plus and enter in a proximity prompt. After that, click on the proximity prompt and then go down into the properties and let's customize it. So the first thing we're going to change is the action text. You can change that to something like kick player or whatever you want your action text to be. And then we can also change other things like the hold duration, which is how long the player has to hold the keyboard key code or the gamepad key code um, before it triggers the proximity prompt. And you can also change something like the max activation distance. I'm just going to double it so that the player doesn't have to be super close to the proximity prompt to trigger it. So once you have your proximity prompt done, um, what you want to do is go under it, click the plus and enter in a script. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit and you can write what I write. So it's going to be very simple. It's just going to be script.parent.triggered, colon connect function and then put in brackets and then pass in the parameter of player or just put player in the brackets. After that, go out one and then go down a line. And after that, we can write player colon kick. A kick is a function that comes in Roblox and basically we just disconnect them from the game and then put in quotation marks. And then this will be your message uh, to the player when you kick them. So you can write something like you got kicked um, or it could be anything. It could even just be something like cheeseburger. Uh, if you don't want a message, then you can just leave the brackets blank just like that. And it will kick the player without a message. So I'm just going to put in a message, maybe something like you got kicked lol. Um, yeah, and that is pretty much the entire script. So what we've done here is uh, since we put the script that's under the proximity prompt, we can reference it by just saying script.parent. And then when the player triggers the proximity prompt, we're going to connect the function and pass the parameter player. Since when you trigger a proximity prompt, um, it's triggered by the player. So we can just give that a variable name and let's just call it player. And then using that player parameter, we're going to kick the player and then we're going to send in some string of text. So let's go test it out. So here I am inside the game. And if I walk up to the part, the proximity prompt will appear and just says kick player. And then if I hold it for one second, it will trigger the proximity prompt and it will kick me. Just like that. So it says you were kicked from the experience. And then after the colons, um, it shows your string of text. So in this case, it's you got kicked lol. So yeah, that'll be it for this tutorial. If it helped, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. If you have any other tutorial ideas, you can leave them down in the comment section below. And who knows, I might do them. But until then, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.